San Francisco at Seattle. Sam Fran right now is any is a three and a half point favorite. And uh, you know the 49ers have owned this series recently against Seattle, five and zero straight up, and four and one against the spread in their last five against the Seahawks, uh, winning by an average decisive margin of uh, double digits. Uh, Seattle coming off that 29-20 home loss to the New York Giants. Uh, now, having said that, Seattle has only lost back-to-back -back home games twice since 2011. And guess who they lost to on both occasions, Steve? The San Francisco 49ers. So here's the other thing. And you know my antennas go up when I see situations like this, Press. When we have a home dog here that's got a winning record and they're facing and they're, and they're facing an opponent that has a losing record. Yet, they're not only a dog, but they're a dog by more than a field goal. And then you go to the Thursday night angles. Thursday night division home dogs of three to nine and a half, which Seattle is in this game, and they have a win percentage of 400 or better, which obviously Seattle has uh, with a three and two record. Those th Thursday home division dogs of three and nine and a half, 0 10 and 2 against the spread since 2012. And uh, away favorites with a losing record versus a division opponent with a winning record, about 12 3 and 1 against the spread since 2011. This line speaks volumes to me, Prez. And uh, I do a lot of line reading during my days, and then I take a nap after, but I'm going to take San Fran. Minus three and a half over Seattle. 4% top play in college football on Saturday. Vandy and Kentucky, folks, my college football 10% top plays are 4-0. Uh, or excuse me, 10-0 and with my and, last 10. And, yeah, 10-0. and 0. And uh, help, thanks for helping me out. You know, us old guys don't have great memories. And also, folks, keep in mind, uh, since December 3rd of 2022, 104 and 69 with all my college football premium selections.